I recently watched my first episode of Garage Sale Mysteries, which was episode 13, um, Mask Murder. The only reason I started with that one was because it was at the top of my Amazon Prime to watch list. I really thoroughly enjoyed it. And I think two days later, maybe, I decided to watch Murder in D minor. And I have to say, the quality is not the same. It is not as good. I kind of enjoyed it. Mainly because I really like Laurie Lachlan, but I feel like it was very much in the middle with the tone. And what I say may not make a lot of sense because I was just going to assume that they all kind of had a similar feel to Mask Murder, whereas this one may be what they actually genuinely feel like, and that one, or generally feel like even, and the other one was just a fluke. But it, either way, it hasn't put me off watching other episodes. So this particular. I say episodes, they are, you know, feature length film episodes, if you like, as part of this series. This one's directed by Neil Fernley, written by John Welpley, and stars, of course, Laurie Lachlan as our protagonist, Jennifer. And I have to say, one of the reasons that I really like, li loved the previous one and could still kind of engage with this one is because Jennifer is a, is a character I really liked. I think Jen is very likable. I can kind of very much definitely understand her desire to be in the thick of it when it comes to uh, am amateur detecting and I kind of feel like she's a bit of a kindred spirit for me in a lot of different ways so for me as a character um, I absolutely adored her. The narrative itself is I think just a bit more gritty than the other one and I know I probably shouldn't just directly compare it to the mask murder but it's my only other Point of reference for the moment. So with this one, uh, in fact I'll read the description uh, from IMDB. I apologise if you could hear my phone vibrating there. Uh, it says, Jennifer wins the bid on a vintage self-playing piano at an estate auction. The piano was owned by the late Carl Dietz and Jennifer discovers that his wealthy philanthropist has a dark history. And yeah, that's a dead body, and things start to take a dark turn, and you don't know who you can trust. This one feels grittier than the other one. What I really loved about The Mask Murder is that it was, for me, the perfect blend of mystery and, I guess, comedy in a way. It's not really funny, but it's kind of light-hearted, and the tone and theme and feel you'd expect from, say, a Hallmark rom-com or a hallmark christmas film this one feels like it's very much on the darker side of a mystery without a lot of that soft fluff that actually makes it quite unique so i feel like the thing that made the mask murder really enjoyable is missing here the narrative itself is interesting but it's not gritty enough to be a crime drama or a thriller it's still teetering on that edge. I mean, what, what does IMDb? IMDb just describes it as a crime and a mystery, which is fair enough. But as I said, the previous episode is a lot, um, a lot more of a, I, get, I, get, I, I don't like the word chick flick, but that's kind of what it felt like. And this one just teeters too much on the edge of being a bit lighthearted that it never really crosses into gritty crime mystery. So it's kind of unsure of what it's trying to do and as a result of that it never really does anything that expertly. With regards to the development of the narrative, yep, yeah, I didn't predict anything. I thought it was quite well written, well developed, really liked all the characters involved in this including the new characters introduced for this story. So it ticks all of the right boxes and you know, it was well directed, obviously well acted. It is a mystery. It doesn't give away too much too soon. The pacing is really good. I just feel like it's missing something that made at least the other episode unique. Now, my opinion may change drastically on that once I watch some more episodes. And I, and I will. I definitely will be, even though I didn't enjoy this one as much. Um, you know, I, I have every intention of, of watching, uh, well, as many as I can get my hands on. I'm not sure how many are on Amazon Prime in the UK at the moment. I love Jennifer as a character. I love Laurie Loughlin as an actor. And for me, there are so many pull factors here that I can't say I didn't enjoy this episode. 
I just didn't enjoy it as much felt like it didn't try as hard to be something fun and unique and engaging as I said maybe this is what they're usually like and the mask murder was a bit of an anomaly either way still basically enjoyed it not that disappointed